Many lawmakers who support the bill say the funds will be used to address a big need for road and bridge, bridge construction across the state. KCCI's Mark Tauschek reports tonight on a privately owned bridge near Marshalltown that's causing a lot of issues for the public. Well, this bridge is owned by the Union Pacific Railroad, but it's the county that shut it down because of structural problems. Now, the folks who live in Quarry, a small town just on the other side of the bridge, are hoping that it is open as soon as possible because twice in the past two years, because of flooding, this bridge has been the only way in and out of town. The main wood supports have been holding up the Quarry Bridge since before World War II, according to a Marshall County engineer. Now, some of that wood is rotting badly. The railroad says they'll replace the wood pilings, but until then, the bridge is closed, likely for a few months. I think we're going to be hurting, especially if we get a wet spring. Quarry sits a mile from the Iowa River, and the 70 or so residents here know it won't stay in its banks. You're pretty much stuck here in town. Take away the bridge, and the only two ways out of town are two gravel roads prone to flooding. I've seen them closed from anywhere from a week to a month. When the two roads flood or when there's a big snowstorm, the bridge is the only access. Now it's closed. That's our whole world once once it starts flooding, once we get blizzards, that's our whole world. It just depends what happens weather wise. If your weatherman can guarantee me good things, we'll be good to go. Railroad and Marshall County officials met today to discuss the bridge. The county engineer told me this afternoon that he thinks the bridge should be open by the end of spring. Shouldn't be a problem as long as the Iowa River cooperates. Reporting in Marshall County, Mark Tauschek, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.